this is legit quick soap coming at you with the video and today I'm going to show you almost every feature in iOS okay be sure to check out everything Apple Pro on his channel because he shows all kinds of new features I think he I think I just watched a video that said like 75 newest features or hidden features I guess it would be in his um in his video that I just watched but okay first you're gonna go to tips okay okay if th this is how you can learn it yourself if you're in iOS 11 you're gonna tap one more and go to you know apple.com so we're gonna load that up it'll take you to this and all you do is oh hell yeah oh well it should have directed you right to it oh yeah okay I was 11 okay oops okay so you're gonna tap that I think you can even check this without it. it it's coming this fall like the official release of the app is this fall not the app but the <clears throat> update and anything that that's higher than a 5s or a 5c and 5s cannot do it it cannot go up the I iPad a uh, has the updates you can get an iPad a cool new feature is the files it brings all your files together so you can easily browse search and organize all your files in one place okay and there's like a special place for it the new dock which is a more which it's a foundational ch change for iPad it's now available for many screens so you can read, just read it right there so the new dock multitasking now drag and drop I looked at a little bit at this and okay let's say you're in an iMessage or something you can take a file that you're going to send and you can drag it through apps or back or whatever to home screen and you can put it into like a message or send it to someone else Apple Pencil Instant Markup Instant Notes Okay, I don't. I think the Apple Pencil is only for iPads. I think that's off. I'm, I know that. that the Jack and Drop is also for iPhones. Live photos. Now, with live photos, you can do the loops, bounce, loop, long exposure, and you can even do. You can turn the sound off of your live a uh, photo. Camera. Now I'm I, I'm actually gonna show you this in camera. So, so, you, so let's say you're going to camera. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm so calling. You see this button at the top right here? You can tap that instead. Of, it, usually on the old update, it would. Hang on, here, let me turn my light on. It would actually, a um, bring you bring up a screen. That had like the nine different filters on it. Now there's ten, I believe. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's ten. Well, nine, ten if you count the original. Well, there's ten there. And now let's say you take a live photo. Okay. Let's say you go to it. You can. Hey, take my photo. Oh my god, nope, didn't want to do that. Okay. Okay, I think that's, that only works for some devices, but you can actually turn the sound off of your live photo. Now, another thing I want to show y'all, let's say you, you want a screenshot. Photo goes right here. 
and I don't think pants you can drag and drop or anything. But you can, you know, tap on these pincers and you can draw on it. Or anything. And I think that's really cool because then you can edit it and then you can save it to your photos. So that's another cool feature that iOS 11 gives you. The new app store is amazing looking. I really like it. <clears throat> I'll bring it up for you guys. It has all kinds of new stuff. Like today, it has all kinds of cool features. It, it even has the game of the day. It, it, it gives you the upcoming events as well. See, this is a new game of the day, which is Guardians of the Galaxy, which I am most likely going to be downloading in the next couple of days. But you have all this peace, no, not peace, pacemaker, which is like a music thing. Hearthstone, you know, all that. And then, I just really like it. It's, it's a nice look. It really is. Okay, next, we have the messages, which... I was actually going to show y'all. Okay, so. Let's say I was wanting to send a photo. Let's just say I want to send that. You can actually send it live or not live. And use the, Oh my god, can I pick this up? Huh. Well, wow. that's good. In the video on it. Okay, but Siri, which. Now Siri. As a more natural voice, and it can actually translate to you. Like, it, like you can say, "How do you say the most popular dishes in your restaurant in Chinese?" And it shows you this because you see the photo right there. A personal DJ, Apple Music knows your taste. So when you tell Siri to play some music, you hear a song you love or a song you're going to love. Siri can also answer music trivia questions like, "Who's the drummer in this song?" Okay. <clears throat> Has it always been more than voice with iOS Siri is even more helpful. It learns from from you and is able to anticipate what you want and make suggestions before you even ask. And everything about you is encrypted in to end so your personal information remains private. Apple Music AirPlay 2. With the new AirPlay 2 you can control your home audio system and the speakers throughout your house. You can play a song in the living room and your kitchen at the same time. Control Center, you can actually personalize that. I've showed you that in my last video. And also, guys, the Do Not Disturb, and it also has Do Not Disturb when you're, like, when you're driving. So, okay, so that's what it was. The new maps, and it can actually show you what's on the inside as well. So, that's really cool. Quick type, keyboard type with one hand, type behind your back. You can literally... Do that now, so I'm actually gonna show you all that right now. Oh my god, I have so many photos in here. Okay, so let's say that you want to. Okay, so I'm only gonna, gonna use one hand, but. Oh, hang on here, I have the wrong keyboard up. Oh, wait, no. Okay, if you look down here, oh, what? what am I doing with my life? Oh my god, I, you can actually switch keyboards and stuff, you can actually move it around, so that's another cool feature that they have. Now then. A, um, if you go back to here, you can look at RMAC setup, which is just hold your new iPhone or iPad in an iOS device, and many of your personal settings, preferences, and iCloud keychain passwords are qu quickly and securely imported, or in technical terms, you know, you can move stuff between iPhones very easily. 
Okay, I can sign up right now if I want to do that. Um, I'll do that later off cam. Okay, so it's iPhone 5S, SE, 6, 6, 6 Plus, 6, 6S Plus, 6S, 7 Plus, and iPhone 7. <clears throat> now, here's all the uh, iPads and the iPods. Okay, that is pretty much all that you need to know. There are a few more hidden features that you will see, like, even with the anime 